And this is no small matter, members, because the Secretary of State has been out advertising in opinion pieces and in press conferences and in testimony before committees a bunch of inaccurate information about the photo ID bill that we passed last night. And I understand the Secretary of State is going to have a press conference perpetuating the same fraudulent statements about the impact of the photo ID bill that we just passed. And so maybe in advance of that, given that the Secretary of State and his lack of attention to detail might seriously have disenfranchised military overseas voters in the last election, maybe we need to recount some of the misstatements the Secretary of State is about to make again on the photo ID bill. This is right from his opinion piece in the Winona Daily News. Fourteen misstatements. And we heard statements from the minority last night about the fraud being perpetrated on the voters. Members, here is real fraud by our Secretary of State in terms of his communication about the photo ID bill we passed last night. Number one, the Secretary of State maintains that the photo ID amendment would replace same-day voter registration with a new election system called provisional voting. False. Same-day registration is not eliminated. Provisional balloting is added to the existing provisions. He refers to a new system that will cost local governments tens of millions of dollars in new tax, tens of millions in new tax dollars. False. It is simply an additional process whereby you partition provisional ballots and count them later uh, when people come in and certify them. Number three, delay the reporting of election results while we all wait for 500,000 to 600,000 provisional ballots to be processed. Members, the Secretary of State's own testimony says there's maybe 80,000 registered voters that don't have a photo ID right now. The numbers are preposterous. The fact that we'd be sitting waiting to count election results is also preposterous. Number five, this photo ID law could reduce our overall vote count by up to 200,000, as though we're somehow going to suppress voting by 200,000 people when no other state with photo ID has even crept up into the thousands, more than the thousands of provisional ballots. Members, this is misinformation in the extreme, and our Secretary of State is out doing this to the voting public. And we got another piece of evidence here about what this Secretary of State is doing through misinformation in the brochures that he puts out that could legitimately have resulted in the disenfranchisement of a bunch of military overseas voters. The proposed amendment changes the rules. No, it doesn't. It doesn't change a single rule and would not allow you to cast your ballot. Really, members? After all the debate we just had, all the discussion about provisional balloting, allowing everybody to cast a ballot so long as they can present a photo ID, and our Secretary of State is saying that the proposed amendment changes the rules and would Mr. not allow Speaker. you to cast your vote?